Mm -hmm. You want to come up again? <laughs> hey guys, how y'all doing? So in today's video, I'm actually back at the Upper Dungeness uh, Trailhead again. Um, this is my third weekend in a row here filming. This place is just like, you know, it's solid gold. It's, it's basically, if you're into landscape photography, it's your one-stop uh, shop. And in this video, I brought my, uh, my buddy Avery with me, and he brought his uh, son, Alex. And, uh, and we're going to be uh, using both my iPhone 14 Pro today to, make, to take long exposure photographs, as well as his uh, Google Pixel 7 uh, Pro. Yesterday he took his first uh, long exposure photograph ever, and today we're going to see if we can hone his skills and get some uh, good shots out of his phone. And, and uh, throughout the video I'll, I'll just pop up shots, you know, you know, iPhone shots and Google Pixel shots, and you know, we'll just do some comparisons. All right, All right. let's get the hike going. Looks like Alex is going to be sleeping on your shoulders on the way up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I think we're going to go ahead and hike up past that bridge that you saw in the last two videos. And I'll probably start the, this video on the other side of that bridge. How do you like the view up there, Alex? <laughs> He's got as many trucks river. as he could bring with him. Yeah, the sun's actually blazing out there, but you can barely see it. You know, it's coming through the trees. A little bit chilly this morning, but you can tell it's going to be a warm day. I'm surprised he's tired. Yeah, same here. I think he's going to wake up when we get to the river, though. Oh, yeah. You getting cold, buddy? You want to put on your hoodie? There. Oh, there we go. How's that? They're absolutely beautiful in here, guys. I swear I never get tired of this place. So many trails that we haven't explored yet. Oh, this is tree. definitely going to, this place yeah, is going to get a playlist of its own. Three, four videos, maybe. We'll see. Maybe more. That's pretty cool. Another good tree. Avery and his uh, son, they just bought some property up here, uh, actually right on Dungeness, the Dungeness River. So they were anxious to get out and explore this place. Check out that root system just standing up over there. That was a big tree. Towards the bridge now. Okay, the bridge is just ahead, guys. We're almost there. We were going to stop off at this campsite down here, get some shots, but we got some campers there today for the first time. The place was empty Memorial Weekend, but today we've got people in our way. Oh well, that's the way, the way it goes. I think we're just going to try and get some uh, one of those comparison shots right here at the bridge. Somewhere down there, maybe a couple of them. Yeah, I think right around here, guys. Let me set Take you up so you can see what we're doing. Sorry if I'm whipping you around, but the sun's you coming up the fast. Sand over there? Overhead. Look here. See the sand right there? You know what happens when the when sun gets too there? high, it's too bright, and all of a sudden no. the shots get pink in them. At least that's what wow. happened last time. Yeah, cool bridge. How's Alex doing? <laughs> cold. <laughs> he's still cold? Because he's not walking. Oh, yeah. It is chilly I'm out nice here for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm only warm because I was walking too. Yeah. That's a cool bridge. Obviously. Yeah, it is. Super cool bridge. You guys can cross it if you want. I <laughs> gotta check it out. <laughs> what? You guys can cross it if you want. Yeah. yeah. You're going to do comparison shots yeah, here? Yeah, I think we will, yeah. Um, just got to figure out where exactly. Look at this cool bridge, buddy. Whoa. It's like a waterfall. 
going to turn the camera a little bit. Avery and his son are out on the bridge there. Still looking for the best composition. I guess it doesn't have to be the best, but <laughs> just a composition. Probably right under the bridge. Just so we got to get out and stand on, on those rocks. Here's some sunlight. Oh, birdie. Horse poop. Somebody brought their horse up here and it pooped. Ugh. See the sand down there? Okay, I think I've got it where I want it here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn my CPL filter here until I get it where I want it. Um, I'm liking that right there. And then I'm going to set my exposure. You know what? Let me turn on screen record real quick to even longer. This is the shot that I'm trying to get right here. We've got a little bit of sun up there nothing's really getting down on the rocks at all that's okay i'm going to set my exposure to water. negative one and i don't think i'm going to stick i'm going to start with the one second exposure i'm going to get two seconds and one at three seconds And that's that for me. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get Avery's uh, Pixel Google, what is it, the Google Pixel 7 Pro. He got the big one. We're going to put that on my tripod exactly right here and take a shot with his phone too. Okay, let me get my phone off of here, then we'll go find him. I know he had crossed the bridge with his son. I'm not sure if they're back yet. Oh, yeah, here he is right here behind me. Okay, but let's get his phone set up over here. Um, I was using a Sandmark ND filter on mine, so we're going to go ahead and clip a Sandmark ND filter onto his phone as well, just to make it fair. I didn't tell you about that. <laughs> oh, I can't hear you. Okay, it's going to be just a minute here. Um, he's, he's got his son on his shoulders, his son's asleep. But as soon as he takes care of him, I'm going to bring you guys right back, and then we'll get the shots from the Google Pixel 7 Pro. Also, I'm going to bring you guys down closer since he's dealing with his kid right now. This kid's really tired. It's cold out here. And he's been on his dad's shoulders. He's not walking, so he's, you know, he's cold. <laughs> not a happy camper right now. He will be, though, once we get out into the sun. And I'm sure you guys can see the sun in the background. It's there. Okay, I'm going to pause this video until he's ready. Okay, guys, I've already taken the shot with my phone, so now we're going to go ahead and take a shot with his uh, Google Pixel 7 Pro. He's already set it up for me. We're on long exposure mode. We don't have a screen record here, or at least I don't know how to work screen record on his phone, but maybe I'll just, I'm going to get my camera out and uh, just, just to show you what his screen looks like. Video. Okay, this is the shot that we're taking. We're set on long exposure. Here we go. Not sure if it's done or if it's still exposing. I've never used this phone before. Let's see, let's check this out over here. It's hard to say, I think it's good. I'll get back with you. I'll put on my reading glasses here. I can't, I'm not really get, getting a good look at it. It's just blurry for me. Okay, what do we got, what do we got? Let's zoom in. Sorry you guys can't see this right now. The water looks pretty good. Yeah, everything actually looks pretty good here. I'll go ahead and pop those shots up for you guys next. First I'll pop up the iPhone shot and then we'll, and then we'll do the Google 7 Pixel Pro right after that.
Okay, so all of the pictures that I've taken with the Google Pixel today are a little blurry and out of focus. And I've, I've done a Google search. I'm not sure that there even is a way to uh, set manual focus on this phone. So it's not looking good for the Google Pixel, you know, right now. And, and, I, and when I left this morning, I didn't set out to, like, destroy the Google Pixel. But, you know, hey... Well, these things happen. I do have another friend who is a Pixel uh, expert. He was born with the Pixel in his hand. I'm going to see if I can't get him out here next week to take a crack at this. And uh, so I guess we're going to have to just wait till then to find out if this really is the end of the Google Pixel or can Stefan change my mind. Okay, guys, we found a pretty sweet uh, location to stop got here. An alley. As I said before, the kid's been cold alley. all day, and right now he's got some sun on him and he's happy. We're gonna, I'm gonna take some more shots out here. Yeah, out of the alley, good job. Get some more water. I'm, I'm gonna get a alley. couple of uh, comparison shots here again. I'm gonna set the iPhone up on the tripod down there, get a couple of shots. All right, then we'll put the Pixel phone on there as well. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna do a 10-second video real quick, just and then I'll pop that up instead of screen record, so you guys can see what we're doing. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. And Alex is counting with me. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, we got our ten second video. Now I'm going to switch over to. <laughs> Yay! Gonna fall over. Now we're going to set the exposure to negative one and a third. Exposing for one second. Using the even longer app on the iPhone 14 Pro. I'm going to do one in two seconds. And then we'll do one in three seconds. Just so, guys, just so you guys know, you know, in that last video, I was seeing pink in my images. We're seeing pink again today. It's showing up on my phone. It's also showing up on the, uh, on, on the Pixel as well. So I'm, I'm, I'm positive it has something to do with light. There's no problem with the app. In the last video, I said I... I might have a problem with the app. That was not the case. It's definitely light. Okay, I got a couple shots. So I'm going to take my phone off now, and then we'll, we'll set the Pixel up on here. Get a couple of shots with his phone next. So I've done a Google search, and it turns out that there's actually a sediment called um, agrolite that can get mixed in with river water, especially when it rains really heavy, and it can turn the river water pink. And it's mostly noticeable when the sunlight hits it. So that, I mean, that pretty much perfectly explains what we're seeing here. And there is a, uh, a waterfall in Canada that is pink. I'm going to pop that up for you guys. Don't do it. Right. Got your phone ready there. Slap it up on the tripod. Same exact composition. Lock this in here. Don't want any to fall into the water. So it's moved back to improve focus. Uh -oh. Can't move back because this is a comparison shot. And even before I've taken the shot, I can already see pink in the water. It's just, it's, just, it's the light. That's what it is. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm using the one times lens. Here we go. Still says move back to improve focus. I don't know why. Yeah. Um, With the app that I use on my phone, I'm able to adjust the focus manually if I need to. I don't, but this is just straight out of the camera here, so we're just taking what we can get. There we go. So I've got two shots. I'm going to try and just take a quick look at them real quick. Let's see, how do you turn it into a long exposure? Now I'm going to have to get this one home, get it up onto the computer before I know for sure if it's good or not. I don't even know how nice to use throw. this phone. It's <laughs> trying to get back to camera. Okay, I'm back on the camera again. So now I'm going to turn it around and just try and take another shot from another angle. So maybe over here. Just another composition. Maybe one with less light in it so we don't get any pink in the shot. Looks like we're still going to have some pink. Apparently there's nothing I can do about it. Let's take one here and see what happens. Yeah, 
I think that's looking pretty good. Okay, I'll pop the shots up next. Okay guys, you might remember from last week's video, when I was down there I said that was the money shot and, uh, and, and it wasn't, I blew it. So today I'm back for redemption, let's see how it goes. Still got that bright light overhead, but I don't know if that's going to mess me up or not. Got Alex and Avery with me, <laughs> just to make sure I get it right. Okay, I'm going to do a one second exposure, I'm going to lock focus on the lock for a negative one and one third, I might even go there, I'm going to do one at negative one and one third, we'll see how that looks, and I'm feeling that's going to be too bright, There's a couple of bright spots on there, as you guys know we're still dealing with this pink. I think I'm already redeemed. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. Mission accomplished, guys. I think that looks really good. I'd like to get one of these with the Google Pixel, too. Let me talk to my buddy here and see if I can throw his on the tripod. You want to throw your phone up at the, the redemption shot? Yeah. Let's <laughs> see do how it. it looks. I'll take mine off the tripod here. Thank you. I took like a cinematic video of the of the rock. Oh, you did? Focus. Oh, yeah, that's I'll cool. Have to throw that in there too. Yeah, we'll throw that in there too. Need all I can get. Okay. Using the main camera, the one times lens. He's got me set up on motion, long exposure. Here we go. Straight out of the camera. No apps. No apps are being used here. This is what I have to go. Let me see how that looks. Landed it. Oh. Let's see how oh, yeah. it does. We've both been redeemed here. This is looking really good. I see pink in both shots, but I already nope. know I can take that out. Okay, guys. I'm happy. Alex is happy, everybody's oh, yeah. happy. <laughs> Set this down over here and then I'm gonna pop up the shots. Got okay guys, we've done a spot to stop for lunch here. Shady. Now well, this stuff is pretty tall, isn't it? Oh <laughs> yeah, you want to switch? Way up here. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. That's all right. Um, let's see what we got in here. I think I was going with... Uh, so, what's Alex got? Oh, this one's not spicy, it's yummy. You want it? Does yep. he like spicy? A little bit. What do you guys eat? Do you like there? spicy, Alex? Beef jerky and uh, cheese sticks. Yep. <laughs> We've got a muffin spicy. top over here. How's your jerky? <laughs> That's sausage. Oh, it's sausage? Looks like he likes it. Is it yummy? 
This is just a, last time I had a muffin, this is a muffin top. This is creme, creme brulee muffin top. Hmm. Yeah. Look at that. Peanut butter jelly. And sardines. Sardines? Where are they at? <laughs> Still in there. Front. And some cheese too. Hey, that's not yours. Uh uh. Put it back. I'll just put it in there. Can you put it back? Yeah. Good job. You stay out of there. Nope. That's not yours. You stay out of there. Well, you can have some if you want some. They've got some cashews in there. And uh, some kind of a trail mix, too. Sweet. Thanks. You burp? <laughs> What do you say? <laughs> He's asking if we see spiders over there. So, <clears throat> probably. Yeah. Yummy. Yeah, this is a good act up here. What's that? This is a good hike up here. This is a great place to come. Yummy. Three weeks it? in a row. Thanks, buddy. Yummy. What is that? Egg and bologna or something? Or? Uh, ham and mustard and mayo. Oh, ham and mustard and mayo. No lettuce yet. Mm. Mama! You wanna try a bite, buddy? Mm. Is he strong enough? <laughs> Can he do it? <laughs> no. Is it too big? Oh no, your cheese. Quick, <laughs> quick, pick it up. No, oh, don't do that. Get it out yeah. of there. I can throw it in there. I've got to haul it out of here anyways. <laughs> that was your only cheese stick, buddy. Here, you want a bite of this? No. Thirsty now, but all I have is beer here. <clears throat> Water's in my car. Oh man, I wish I had more. Alex dumped the rest of it out. <laughs> there wasn't much. You guys ready? Uh, okay, guys, I'm gonna end this video kind of just like the last video with a nice cold beer, Red Hook. My favorite cheers. beer. <laughs> Pop it open. Cheers. See you guys in the next one. Shots are coming up next. All right.